All right, Carmen, thank you so much for that. Well, Governor Cuomo continuing to tour the state today, pushing proposed legislation that would keep guns out of the hands of people deemed dangerous. After stopping in the Bronx and on Long Island Monday, today the governor toured parts of Westchester promoting his red flag protection bill. New details in the fatal hit and run and crash that happened here in Allerton last night. I'm Linnea Batiste, and I'll tell you who police have now identified as the suspect. We're in Throg's Neck, right near Hammond Cove, and a lot of that water is seeping into the street. And as you can see, the flood water is just getting higher and higher. We begin with 12 on crime. A man from our borough lucky to be alive after getting shot during a chain snatching robbery. And police are investigating an overnight shooting in Belmont that left a teen hurt. It happened just after 3.30 in the morning on East 182nd Street near Hughes Avenue. It will go down in history as a watershed moment between two longtime rivals, President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un meeting in Singapore. Don't worry about spending a lot of money if you want your kids to play a game of gross. All of these are only 20 bucks. Now it looks like we're just jumping around, but I'm told that you use a lot of your body weight for the motions, but you don't get all that gravity pulling. Disturbing scene at a mosque in our borough earlier this week. The house of worship targeted by someone with a BB gun for the second time in two years. I'm Linnea Batiste. We're taking a look outside our studios in Soundview. The weather will be cooler than yesterday, but can we expect the sun to show up? Let's send it over to meteorologist Mike Rizzo, who has a little more. He's going to prepare us for our day. Amanda, shocking video showing two men running out of these gates right behind me just moments after a woman fell from this building. Take a look at this video. Police say this is video of the people that they're looking for. You can see one guy running out of the gate and then just seconds later a man comes trailing right behind him. So you know he was telling me about the snow drifts. That's really the thing that you're seeing right now where it's lower in one area but higher in another area and just to kind of show you right here. It's about two um, two inches right here but when you come up here this is where you really see significance. Yeah, as you can see around me, there's still debris on the ground from that fatal hit and run that took place last night. And also we found out some new information. Police have arrested 21 year old Tenbir Islam. A sergeant in the city of Naperville frantically responding to the scene. Let's take a listen. Hey, uh, right there at the bottom hey, of the screen, hey. you can see that young boy almost head into traffic. That sergeant pulling him to safety. Officials say that child escaped his mother's watchful eye the officials saying that these elevators here in the NYCHA complex still aren't working and that a city investigation determined that the brake monitors weren't working and that his death could have been prevented. That's right, we're told the three suspects forced their way into the 21-year-old woman's apartment while she was sleeping and then made her watch as they stole thousands of dollars worth of items from her apartment. Where I'm here at Daily Burn 365, where the workout comes to you. So let's check it out. Take a look at this roadway. I mean, they've cleared out the street, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. There's ice here, but you know the interesting thing that we have seen is that Bronxites are taking matters into their own hands. We've seen a lot of these, what I'm calling DIY, do-it-yourself plow trucks. Summer movie season almost here. Here's a look at what's new in theaters. It's the fifth film in the franchise, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Takes viewers on a thrill ride back in time. And I'm Linnea Batiste. Coming up, we're back outside with another check at your weather on the twos. It may be cloudy now, but the weekend is supposed to be gorgeous. But how long will it last? Stay tuned to find out. No idea where the case is. Nearly four years later, the case of Ramarley Graham still in limbo as his family searches for answers. What do I say? You know, the only person now that could help us is the DOJ. DOJ! And that's where many supporters gather Tuesday, outside the Southern District's office of the New York Department of Justice, demanding an update on the federal investigation of Ramarley Graham's death, which started over a year ago. Like everybody else, they want the justice system to move on this case. Graham is the 18-year-old killed in his home by NYPD officer Richard Hayes on February 2nd, 2012. This surveillance video shows Hayes banging on Graham's home after chasing the teen on suspicion of drug possession. He eventually breaks in, fatally shooting Graham in front of family members. There's no pictures from my understanding of him in the house because his body was moved. An initial indictment of manslaughter was thrown out by a judge on a technicality, and later a grand jury voted not to reindict Hayes. On top of that, Officer Hayes recently got a raise making over $88,000 in 2015, according to public records. Here we are four years later, and this man making money, 
and it's like you're rewarding people for bad behavior. The family was offered a nearly $4 million settlement from the city, but they say money isn't the answer. That's, that's the furthest from anything, too. That's not our main concern. Our main concern is justice. Looking to the future, they have one message for elected officials. So we are asking DOJ, do what your organization, what your agency was set up to do. Trick or treating may be for kids, but it's those bite sized candies that has everyone sneaking into the pumpkin pail. All right, what do we got? There? And these treats can trick you into overindulging. Mostly it's about the sugar content. This is where it gets scary. Personal trainer Rockland Thompson with the Brooklyn Manhattan Athletic Club says it takes a whole lot of exercises just to burn off one, like my favorite, Snickers. In this regular fun size Snicker, you're going to get about 80 calories. Rockland says the average Average person can burn 10 calories doing 10 burpees per minute. 80 calories in a Snickers, that's 80 burpees. Now shoot the feet back, jump the feet wider than the hand. And for just one York peppermint patty. 120 calories in one of these snack size peppermint patties would equate to about 25 to 30 minutes of moderate jogging for just one. I eat about three at a time. And for my Kit Kat lovers, prepare to climb those steps. The calories on the Kit Kat bars, two of these, would amount to about 107 calories. Now, to burn these two bite-sized Kit Kats off, she would have to do a Stairmaster climb for about 20 to 25 minutes. Are eating these two Kit Kats worth that much time? Now to the holy grail of Halloween candy, candy corn. The serving size of the candy corn, which is 19 pieces, would actually equate to about 140 calories. And to burn this off, Rockland took me to the rowing machine. 30 minutes to 45 minutes of nonstop moderate rowing. And uh, that's rowing to the Bronx. Come reach for it again. That's rowing to Harlem from Brooklyn. But if these exercises are too much... Try to find healthy alternatives to that. If not, prepare for the candy pirate lurking around the corner. 20 squats to burn off those calories. <laughs>